Hi everyone! Today I want to make a new list in my channel. It will be called Q&A list uh, and it will include all the questions from my subscribers about different issues regarding Ukrainian. Today I want to discuss the difference between Russian language and Ukrainian language because there were a lot of questions before regarding this point. In order to do this, I would like to introduce my friend uh, Yelena. Hi! She is from Moscow, Russia. To analyze this matter, I will ask Elena different kind of questions regarding daily life, uh, both in Ukrainian and in Russian, so that you could see the difference. So first word will be good morning, actually at the time of the day which is right now. Good morning. In Ukrainian, as you may remember, it will be Dobry rano. Dobre utro. Great. Now, let's see the other phrases, useful phrases, which we'll use in a daily life. So, to ask how are you doing in Ukrainian will be Yak Vyi So, in Russian it will be Kak Vyi And the answer for this in Ukrainian will be Dobre, meaning good or well, Dobre. And in Russian it will be Хорошо. Okay, in Russian it will be Хорошо, as you may hear. The next will be a question and uh, very often used during equating with the new people. So, where are you from? In Ukrainian it will be ты звідки? In Russian? Откуда uh, ты? Great. So, uh, and the answer for this will be I am from Russia. So tell me this. Я из России. And if I answer the same question in Ukrainian will be Я из России. Can you repeat it? Я из России. No. Я из России. Я из России. Great. The next question, which may also be very often asked, is Do you like learning Ukrainian language? So, in Ukrainian it will be Тобі подобається вивчати українську мову? How it will be in Russian? Тебе нравится изучать українську язык? Great. And usually the answer for this question will be uh, yes, I like learning Ukrainian language. So, in Ukrainian it will be uh, How will it be in Russian? Yes, I like learning Ukrainian language. Great. Let's go to the other words and phrases. So, now I will ask Elena another question. Uh, usually, we often use it while uh, get, getting acquainted with a person actually what music a person likes or what music a person listens to. So I, I will ask Elena uh, what music she listens to. How can I say this? How can I ask this question in Russian? Great. Now, uh, the answer for this question will be quite interesting uh, due to our personal uh, tastes are almost the same, so uh, I, I will answer it in Ukrainian. Мені подобається слухати Океан Ельзи, Один в Каноє, Гурт Скрябін та Гурт Машина Часу Андрія Макаревича. Мені нравиться слушати Океан Ельзи, Один в Каноє, Скрябін. Uh, Another important question uh, when you're getting acquainted with a person is uh, to ask where do you work? In Ukrainian it will be De ты працюєш? And in Russian how may I ask you where do you work? Где ты работаешь? Great. And the answer for this uh, Yelena works as a teacher and uh, in Ukrainian it will be Я працюю викладачем. And how it will be in Russian? I work as a teacher. Я работаю учителем. Great. Now, uh, another interesting thing to compare to is uh, the names of the months of the year. And uh, they are really different. Uh, right now we want to compare them in order so that you could see the difference. So, the first month of the year will be January. In Ukrainian it is Sichin. In Russian? Yenvar. After that is February. In Ukrainian it is 
Lutey in Russian. Um, then March in Ukrainian. It is Berezin in Russian. Mart. Okay. Later on, we have April in Ukrainian. It is Vitein. April. Great. Now, the next month is May. In Ukrainian, it is Dravy. May. Great. The next one is June. In Ukrainian, it will be Chervy. Iyun. The next one is July. In Ukrainian, it is Lipy. Iyun. Then August. In Ukrainian, it will be Serping. August. Then September. In Ukrainian, it will be Veresing. Sintiavr. Then will be October. In Ukrainian, it will be Zhovtein. October. Then will be November. In Ukrainian, it will be Listopad. Noyabr. Great. And the last one is December. In Ukrainian, it will be Rudein. Dikav. As you see, the languages are quite different. And uh, actually, in the epilogue, I want to give an assignment, small assignment to Indian. Uh, the, the assignment will be to guess out uh, the Ukrainian verb and translate it into Russian. And uh, actually, the, the word will be Yilka. Uh, can you tell me what it is? Yil Yilka. I think it's a fork. No. Fork in Ukrainian is uh, and will be Videlka. Fork Videlka. So, another try. You may call your friend, whatever, if you have one Ukrainian beside me. Another try? Yeah. Um, maybe it's um, maybe it's a bifurcation on the road. No. Like just Vilka. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Vilka. Maybe it's a village. No. Village in Ukrainian will be Selo. Selo village. Selo. Mm. But it's something about agriculture. No. Vilka. Uh, is it a person? A girl? No. Um, is it is it something about about the forest? Yes. <gasps> about the forest. Yes. Mm, it's uh, mm. it's a type of forest. Not really the type of forest. Ah, Yolka! No, no, oh. no, no. Christmas tree, Christmas tree uh, will be Yalina or Yalinka. If you shorten this word, is Yalinka and or Yalina. It's a Christmas tree. In Russian, it will be Yolka. Uh, it is not. Not a try. Yolka, Yolka. Yolka. This is It's not a pine tree, uh, actually. Uh, it's a little bit different, so I may, I may give you a hint if you want. Uh -huh. It's a part of every every tree. It's a small part of every tree. Every tree has root. No. Root uh. root will be kori in Ukrainian. Root will be kori, and in Russian kori. Oh, Maybe it's a branch. You mean this one? Mm -hmm. So finally, finally, Elena guessed out with my with my hint. It's it's a branch in Ukrainian. It's uh, Yilka. Palka. And uh, in Russian, it's Vietka. As, far, as far as I remember. So uh, learn Ukrainian. Uh, try to study other languages and actually uh, subscribe to my channels and ask me questions and comment. I will be happy to help you and answer all the questions. Good See you time. around. Bye. Do pobacenia. Ah, надо было спеть песенку. Как бы... Не, мы просто поем, мы все под конец. Такой, затухаем. Я... Раз, два, три. Як у світі повелося, 
Я люблю її волосся, я люблю її тонкі вуста. І все. І все нормально.